Imply offers real-time analytics at scale for organizations all across the globe. We're able to offer these analytics at lightning fast speeds because of our core engine being Apache Druid, which was created by our founders, who are still our CEO and CTO. Imply has offerings that can span any cloud as well as bare metal. So we're able to provide our customers with a lightning fast solution that fits their needs specifically. Jumping over to Imply Pivot, we'll get started with a little bit of a demo to show you what Imply is and how you could imagine it working in your organization. Here we're looking at the Pivot UI, a UI created specifically to enhance the speed provided by Apache Druid and to give the user real-time ad hoc exploratory analytics capabilities right at their fingertips from their browser. In Pivot, you're able to load new data sets, create visuals, execute SQL, set alerts, and much more. Let's take a look at some visuals. Looking at campaign tracking, we can get a feel for real-time analytics on streaming data, which is one of the types of data Imply offers for ingest capabilities. We also offer batch data ingest, but in this situation, we're looking at a real-time stream from Twitter following some very popular hashtags going on in 2020, like COVID and the election. Here we can see that our dimensions are all provided for us on the left, as well as measures on the right-hand side so that we can decide what we want to actually drill down on and examine while we're interacting with our data. Here we're looking at the hashtags that we're tracking over the last hour. And we can easily look at the last day, last week, month, three months. You get the picture. As we increase our scale in time, Imply is able to handle that because of the way that we index our data and the way that we serve it back to the customer. We don't have to read all the rows because we're already aware of where the data lives. And so we can service your query specifically without any lag. That's what makes this response time so smooth. We're also able to do that over multiple dimensions and multiple and, and any time frame. So here we see three months going back down and drilling into an hour or six hour time frame or even a week is as easy as just clicking a button. You don't have to boil the ocean to interact with your data and discover insights. Like right here, we can see that COVID-19 had a big spike in activity that wasn't uh, seen in the previous days throughout the week. Seems like people are talking about it more. I wonder why. Uh, now, this is just the cube view of Imply. You're able to, once you create a view that you think fits what you're looking for, you're able to add it to a dashboard, download the data directly, up to 500 rows, 10 million rows, or every single row that's in that particular data set so that you can use it with other applications. You can also do things like view the raw data and monitor queries. This comes in particularly handy as we interact with not just data analysts, but data engineers and data scientists as well to provide a full data lifecycle experience that reduces friction and increases productivity. <clears throat> you can also set alerts directly from the views UI so that anytime a spike in behavior happens, you can be alerted through your favorite web application, anything that accepts a WebSocket request or even Slack. <clears throat> Once you've created a view that you like, you can add it to a dashboard so that you can view all of your metrics in a single pane of glass, like you would expect of any world-class analytics tool. In this situation, we've got multiple different views showing multiple different facets of the data. In this case, a Sankey that breaks down activity amongst users 
creating the tweets and users that are actually interacting back with those users. So we can get an idea of how the entire network is behaving. We can also see which tweets were most popular over any given time frame, as well as track metrics and even track individual performance of specific hashtags all at a glance. While all these views interact together, they're linked. And so you're able to actually slice and dice one and have that cascade throughout your entire dashboard, still with real time responsiveness and zero lag. Now, that's all fine and dandy. And that's what we include on top of our base offerings of management and clarity being the monitoring capabilities. But now you can also enjoy using Imply with other applications as well. Like here, for instance, we take a look at Sherlock. Sherlock was open sourced by Yahoo and it's an anomaly detection tool. Using data from Imply and creating a flash query, we're able to actually create detection windows, time series, specify a time series model, specify an anomaly detection model, and then execute that query to discover anomalies in our data without having to write any code. Wow. And that's all being driven off of a lightning fast engine that can service those time series queries across any scale, across any number of dimensions and to any cardinality. Going a step further into data science, for those who do want to write some of the code, we offer a great way to connect for data scientists. Here we can look at several different data sets and how we would connect to imply. Connecting to imply is as simple as providing a couple lines of code and then specifying the query that you may have grabbed from that monitor queries tab earlier that we spoke about. Here we've already seen that execute and we've grabbed a time series as well as a group by query of the store sales data. We can create a profit object for Facebook profit model. Take a look at our data using any kind of graphical tool like Plotly or even just built in matplotlib type of libraries. And this all becomes fully interactive and running off of imply. Now we can create and run our forecast models on top of this time series data and visualize it. Awesome. So here we've got all of our store sales data and we can even forecast into the future to understand how that store sales data is going to react to future trends. In this case, we're looking at the profit. And it looks like it's actually going to stay right at about 11.5% unless we do something to change that. Now let's look at some real world data. We've indexed all of the COVID-19 data set in Imply. And that allows us to execute a group by query and create a Facebook forecast model. You can drop all of that into a plot. And we can see how we have the data from every single country across the world, so India, USA. <clears throat> and in this case, we filtered out just the USA specific data and created a forecast model. And this is on date. We ran it on data from August 21st to October 31st, queried an entire month there, and then forecast it out into the future to understand what the daily cases would look like. That's awesome. Now imply enables you to leverage this lightning fast query execution to service multiple separate, uh, use cases and not just a specific use case. And so here we can actually look at a fraud data example. Here we've pulled in data related to a fraud data set that we have. And we're looking at 
a series of accounts that we've been monitoring and suspect are engaging in fraudulent activity. If we look at the transaction amounts over time, we can see that the fraud is being cleverly concealed in the amounts and frequency of the transactions. But we can definitely see a clear pattern in the balances over time. So we know there's something going on here, but it's not immediately clear what that something is. If we break out all of the different accounts and all the amounts and transactions over time, we see that they're all behaving differently. But based on the way that the balances are interacting, we know that there's something going on and they're all working together. So drilling down further, we're able to actually take a look at more sophisticated models using group by queries against imply, we can generate network graphs without having to actually migrate our data into a graph database. This allows us to look at things in time series, but also in graph so that we can understand connectedness between these accounts and the geographies. Clearly, these guys are connected and there's something going on here. And we can certainly now, with much more confidence, say that there is a fraud network here. We can obviously use better visualizations and you're not limited to having to work with a specific tool or specific uh, endpoints. Uh, because you choose imply and you have an open API, you're able to now service multiple data sets multiple users and use cases within an organization. And this reduces friction across the entire business. Not only are data scientists able to interact with the data, but so are data analysts and data engineers, allowing that full data science and data life cycle to continue un unhindered and without friction. So looking back at that data set that we started with, campaign tracking, we can query against that. And in that campaign tracking, rather than actually run data science classification algorithms across all of your data, across all time, you can actually selectively run analytics on your data, which greatly reduces the amount of classification needed. So in this case, I'm pulling in media URLs. So anyone that posted a photo with their tweet I'm going to go ahead and pull that in, but what I'm also going to do is I'm going to run the classification and I'm only going to apply it to people who had a certain amount of followers. I might only be interested in the popular people that are tweeting and what they have in their messages, not necessarily the person that has a single follower, right? So this greatly reduces the amount of classification that I need to do. So I can see here now, I've, I'm running my Twitter URL tags for uh, any photo that was posted and any tweet over this time frame, And I'm getting prob probabilities as well as labels. And this is all hitting a Keras uh, REST API model that's being served in real time. So now, as I'm actually getting all of these labels, I can then continue to you know, explore analytics and do other things, or I can jump over and I can write that data back to Kafka directly from my notebook and have that ingested into imply, which will allow you to then have enriched visualizations on top of the data that already exists without having to change the underlying data source or change your pipeline. So this is the type of future state architecture that most organizations are looking to achieve. This is an emerging trend that we're seeing with a lot of businesses that are wanting to leverage a single platform to get as much as they can done as possible so that they can reduce costs, but also increase efficiency and get more insights. Now, to finish up, we'll look at another type of data so we can make sure that we're talking about every single use case that we can really cover in a 15 minute demo. Here we'll pull in some health data that's been streamed in directly from my own Apple Watch. 
We can pull in things like latitude and longitude, as well as select an interval that we're interested in, and I'm grabbing speed and elevation here. Now we can use tools like Plotly again to actually visualize that data. So this is the kind of real-time analytics and app-driven analytics that Imply enables so well. Whether this is through a Python Jupyter Notebook or through a custom application or an app on someone's phone, being able to render these types of graphics smoothly and quickly, as well as provide an incredible amount of granularity to that data is really what it's gonna take for organizations to go to that next level and be competitive in today's market. Imply enables organizations to do just that, create data-driven applications that delight all of their users as well as create internal data-driven applications and analytics that are able to delight the business and are able to generate ROI with faster time to value, as well as cost savings with our price performance ratio that beats anyone else out there. And this is just a little bit of what we're able to do. Thanks for watching.